Hello again, welcome back. Last time I showed you the AARC64 helper plugin that um, helps either disassembling system registers and system instructions. And after I showed that video, uh, I got uh, quite a few um, feedback questions. And one of these questions was if I support or plan to support other um, opcodes that either disassembles in the non-recommended uh, way. Example for these opcodes are like this SBFM instruction here that has an, uh, a nicer alias uh, or the UBFM and some others. So I thought this would be a nice idea and I wanted to implement it and I realized that if I want to implement it, I want it to be uh, easily testable. And so I decided that I want to have the power of the capstone engine inside IDA so that I could verify that the disassembly is actually correct. Uh, the reason for that is that the capstone engine in nearly all cases uses the uh, recommended aliases instead of the plain disassembly. So when I go to this opcode now, I can trigger my uh, new helper plugin that is called what would capstone decode. Um, so I can trigger that plugin by just uh, using the feature here. What would capstone decode? I click it and what happens is it will uh, disassemble this instruction here with the capstone engine and output it down here. Um, so when I finished that little plugin, I uh, posted a picture of this uh, to uh, Twitter and I got so much feedback about it and people really liked that idea and um, I think most of them really misunderstood what I was doing. So I only created a plugin that would disassemble one instruction down here which is nice, but it's not like a capstone view inside IDA. So, because people misunderstood that, I was looking into how hard it would be to actually uh, do such a capstone view. And because I was already playing around with processor extension um, plugins, I saw that it's not that hard actually, because the only thing I needed to add was um, a hook for the processor extension callbacks and hook into the out event. Because uh, this is what IDA finally calls uh, when it wants to generate the disassembly for a specific uh, instruction. So, uh, I added this and I can activate it by using capstone view here. And what happens now is that the whole output will change to the uh, capstone engine output. So this is a very dump output here because uh, I'm not marking stuff as operands or registers or whatever. I just print out a mignonic and then print out the whole operand string as it comes back from uh, Capstone Engine. And as you can see here, this one was actually really optimized and uh, the same down here. At the same time, you will notice that um, symbols for uh, addresses like here uh, disappeared uh, just because Capstone does not know about them and I'm just outputting the operand string as is. If you wanted, you could pass that and just um, like uh, re symbolify this whole thing, but I just wanted it to be nice and easy. Okay, so I can again disassemble this view, uh, disable this view, and um, it's the normal either thing. Um, and because it's all in the out step, this also works 
in the graph view. So you switch to graph view and you see again we have this complicated instruction here so we can just n ask for the capstone view and everything is uh, simple again. And because this whole thing just changes the output view internally all the instructions are uh, still in the IDA format so for either everything is still the same, all the uh, cross references are the same, everything works, either will work perfectly, just the output layer was changed. So let's change that back, uh, disable capstone view uh, and go back to text view because I really dislike the whole graph idea here. So um, this is already nice but what you basically get for free is the features from the uh, current ARC64 helper plugin. Because now when we go to our current thread function, we see uh, the other plugin is not activated, so we see this is like the system register access. We can now just activate the capstone view and we will see that now the uh, register is um, changed here, uh, here also, here also, and if when we scroll down we hopefully see also the system instruction change. So here we see, oh yeah, uh, Capstone also knows about uh, the TLBI instruction, so everything is very similar to the AOC64 helper plugin. The only difference here is that um, it's not as powerful as the other plugin because IDA does not really know about these changes and you lose all the symbolized um, addresses. And of course um, you don't get the help that the other helper plugin will give you for the certain registers. So that's it. Uh, the plugin is um, again still in development, mostly because I use that for ARM64 um, for helping me to develop the other plugin. So I only hard coded it for now for ARM64. Uh, if I wanted to add support for other um, architectures, I would have to. Uh, um, use different configurations of the capstone engine depending on what kind of IDP uh, is currently loaded and what kind of segments I'm, I'm currently in and so on. Um, I'm pretty sure that can be implemented in like half an hour or so but for now it's just like hard-coded to um, ARC64 ARC um, if I ever release this to the public it will be um, cleaned up. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, thank you for uh, listening and viewing again. Uh, see you next time.